Hi all, happy Friday. It's time for some Frugal Friday money hack tips. Haven't done these in a while, it's about that time again. Okay, gas is going down, thank goodness, but it's still an expense. Um, it was actually, I haven't got it yet, I need to get some, but last time I looked it was 258. Woo. Last time I got gas, it was 350 something. So it's gone down quite a bit, was, you know, for Christmas. They, uh, get that out of the way, there we go. They um, jack it up because people travel and now it's back down at a decent right price, rice, <laughs> decent price. But there's an app called Gas Buddy that I'll tell you what the cheapest gas around is. And then on top of that, there's one called Upside. And if you download Upside, it's not all gas stations, but some gas stations, you can get a few cents off per gallon just by using this Upside app. You just plug in that you're at such and such a gas station and um, you get back, um, I don't know, the first time it's more, it's like 20 cents a gallon or something. And then after that, it's more like three to five cents a gallon, but hey, every little bit helps and it builds up and then you can have it transferred to your bank account or to an Amazon card or just different things. So, hey, every little bit helps here and there. Um, buy a water bottle and bring it every everywhere quit drinking bottled water and that's true bottled water is expensive i actually am going to go to costco and buy some bottled water but it's the flavored kind with vitamins in it because i just don't like the taste of plain water i know i should drink plain water but i just can't i just don't like it <laughs> um this one i don't know it says ditch paper towel and use rags um i guess that's how we used to do it back in the day. Um, for most things, you could use use rags and just throw them in the washing machine. But I still would use paper towels for some things, like, for instance, draining bacon. You know, you want to want to use paper towels for something like that. So that one's a half and half, maybe one. You could use rags for more than you do, but still use paper towels some. <laughs> Don't get sodas at restaurants, or tea in my case. Yeah, I've been trying to get water more. I don't, you know, as I've said, I don't like water, but it's ridiculous. A tea bag probably costs 20 cents, maybe 30 cents. And they charge you, it's up to like $5 now for an iced tea. That's ridiculous. So I've been most of the time getting water lately. Pay cash to avoid the tip screen. Don't tip at coffee places, fast food, etc. I mean, everywhere you go now, they want a tip, you know, even if they didn't do anything. I mean, I used to be a waitress, so yeah, waitresses deserve tips. But just if, like, like if you go to the grocery store, <laughs> they want a tip, I don't think so. They, they're doing their job. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I'll tip, depending on what it is and where it is, but some things are getting ridiculous that they want tips for, and I just kind of ignore it and don't tip them. I mean, I do tip if it's a service they're doing, but if it's just sitting there with a cash register, I don't know. I don't think so. Get a case for your sunglasses. Yeah, that's a good idea because mine are always getting bent up and scratched up and so on, so... You know, if you get a case, you're less likely to get them scratched. You're less likely to lose them. Get lower megabytes, you know, for your internet. Um, it's cheaper if it's lower megabytes, I guess. And it only slows down when using multiple devices at once. and. It's just me. Well, I've got my roommate now, my young lady that's living with me, but she's hardly ever here. So I, that's not usually a problem. But there's also, speaking of internet access, if you're 
older and poor like me, <laughs> there's a federal government program where you can get $30 off of your um, internet bill. So that's cut mine about in half. It was 65 and now it's 35. Um, only go to shop once a week. It cuts out on unplanned purchases, that's true. I don't even go once a week. I go more like every couple weeks maybe. Sometimes I'll go, like today, I'm going to go probably to Walmart. Should have done it earlier. It might be too late. And look for um, Christmas wrapping paper for next year. But it's kind of getting late. I, they, I should have done it the day after Christmas. What's today? The 27th or the 28th? I don't know. <laughs> it's Friday, whatever day that is. <laughs> Uh, bring your lunch to work. Well, I used to do that about half the time when I worked, but I enjoyed getting out of the office. And, uh, must be, he's, he's sitting in the front window and there must be somebody walking by or bringing a package or something because he's, he's a barking at him. <laughs> I started opening the craft room door so he could sit in the window. Kit used to love to do that, so I figured he'd like it too. He's eating better. I bought this... I didn't realize it was pouches, but it's little pouches of kind of chopped dog food. And he's eating better, but he's still not drinking enough to suit me. I, he needs to drink more. I'm kind of, I'm going to still wait it out and see if he's doing better. I'm going to clean his water dish really, really good. And I gave him one that's like a clean, like Tupperware thing to see if maybe it was the cleanliness that he didn't like. I don't know. Um, use a cash back credit card. Oh, I do that. I only have one credit card, but I buy everything with it. And I get the cash back. And over the years, I went on a cruise with my kids with that money. I bought my iPad with that money. So I let it pile up and then do something special with it. I think it's up to mm, a couple hundred now because... I did need to take like 300 of it when I was, had a downturn in, you know, high expenses. So I took some to help me out one month, but I really don't like doing that. I don't like to spend it on bills and things. I like it to be pile up and use it for something special. But I, you definitely need to pay it off every month. And I do that. I have it tied to my, um, checking account and if it looks like I'm not going to be able to pay it off that month I'll take money out of savings and put it in there to pay it off because I am not paying 25% interest or whatever ridiculous interest rate it is I don't even know what the interest rate is because I've never ever paid interest on this card and I've had it 10 years at least I always pay it off even if it's three thousand dollars I'll pay it off that month you know, find a way, take money out of savings, take money out of my IRA, whatever, but I'm not paying interest. I refuse. <laughs> uh, get books from the library. Hmm, I don't do this. I should. My granddaughter gets them online from the library uh, on my card a lot of times. But what I do 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 <laughs> is I have what's called Kindle Unlimited, and it's like 10 bucks a month. And there's thousands and thousands of books you can read for free. And I get these, I need to get those again. I When I had to change my phone or, you know, delete everything off my phone and those went away, but I need to do it again. It's, um, there's a couple apps that they'll send you daily lists of books that are free on Amazon. And a lot of times it's the first one in a series and then you look at the rest of the series and the rest of the series is, you know, four or five dollars for each book. But what I'll do is I'll look and see if that one is on, the rest of the series is on Kindle Unlimited. And if it is, I'll go ahead and download the first one. And then just read the rest free on the Kindle Unlimited. But if it's not, if the rest from art, I don't even read the first one because I don't want to get hooked on a series <laughs> and then have to pay for it every time. 
There's not a library around here, really. The closest one is, because I don't live in that city, I have to pay $50 a year to belong to it. And so I'm like, nope. And then there's one that's farther away that I belong to and it's free. But, you know, it's like 20 minutes or so, 20, 25 minutes each way to go to it. So I usually just download stuff off a of Kindle and read it on my iPad. Um... The last one is exercise. It'll help cut down on your health care costs. Yeah, I'm really bad about exercising. I gotta start taking the boy for walks. He needs some exercise too. He's getting fat. <laughs> and uh, of course I need to exercise. I wanna start doing that water walk and my friend that I usually go with, she's had COVID for 10 days now and she's still testing positive. She's pretty sure she doesn't have it anymore, but from what she's been reading, you can test positive for months afterwards, even if you're not positive anymore. I mean, it's been more than 10 days since she got sick. So I seriously doubt if she's contagious anymore, but she's getting really tired of being in the house. <laughs> so she tested this morning and she was still positive. She's like, ugh. So I think she's just gonna start going out anyway. It's been almost two weeks, so. I seriously doubt if she's contagious anymore. But once she does start going out, maybe we can go start doing that water walking that we were doing, you know, in this lazy river thing. And then I need to take the boy for at least short walks. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know why. I guess it's because I had COVID. I am so tired all the time lately. Oh, man. It's like, oh, it's almost noon and I'm just still... I mean, I've been up and dressed, but I've just been kind of laying around, reading, watching YouTube videos, reading a book, you know, stuff like that. I just don't have any energy. I want to go down to Costco, but ugh, it's about a 20, 25 minute drive. Everything's about a 20, 25 minute drive for me. It's about a 25 minute drive, and then I only want a couple things, but... I don't know if I'll go today. If I don't go today, I probably won't go till next week because I hate going on the weekends. It gets so crowded. Hey, baby. There's a little head. There's a little boy. The little boy. He keeps going like this with his paws. I think it was when they sh shaved his face. It's the hair going back. It's itching. Ah. <laughs> uh. He's gonna get up in the window and look out in the backyard, see what there is to see. He was chasing a squirrel earlier, and of course the squirrel got away. It, it hears the flap of the it door thing he goes in and out of, and as soon as it hears that flap, it's back up the tree. So before he even gets out there, it's long gone. <laughs> Alrighty, so there's some tips. Um, hopefully some of these are ones you hadn't heard before. Uh, you know, there's only so many tips you can give, so I don't know how long this series will last. <laughs> um, all right, I will see you all soon. I love y'all. If you haven't subscribed, love to have you. I do a little bit of everything, like I do taste tests, I do Google facts, I do unboxings, cooking videos sometimes, crafting videos sometimes. I've got to do, um, my daughter-in-law asked me to do, she's part of this ministry that ministers to, it's their young men in prison, but it's not juvenile hall and it's not main prison, it's kind of in between. They're serious offenders like drugs and murder and rape, stuff like that. But she goes and volunteers there and she doesn't know what she gets. She mentors a kid at a time. And the last one she mentors was able to go home. So I don't know what he did and she doesn't know. They don't tell them what they did. So it won't affect their mentoring because I would have trouble being positive and mentoring around somebody that was a child molester, for instance, you know, so so anyway, uh, she asked me to make these placemats, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do, if you come up with some more ideas, let me know. I'm gonna do frog, and then I've got some frog stamps, and frog is fully rely on God. 
and then I'm gonna do dog and I've got some dog stamps and it's daily obey God and then I tried to think of something for cat but I couldn't come up with anything for cat <laughs> or I've got I think I've got a fox stamp I've got a turtle I've got rabbits or bunnies so coming up with acronyms for those is a little harder <laughs> but I the, fro the frog one I've always heard all my life the dog one I made up myself um I might just put some scriptures on it or something I don't know we'll see but I promised her I'd do a few so I've got to start that my handwriting is terrible so I have to really take my time and make it look halfway neat because I've got terrible handwriting. <laughs> I always said I should have been a doctor because you can't read my handwriting. It's um, illegible. I, even I going back reading it, it's like, this is printed and even I was like, what does this say? You know, looking at this list I made. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's what that says. After I read the whole sentence, I can figure out what the missing word is usually. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. Don't know what's coming up. I don't plan ahead. I just fly by the seat of my pants. So we'll, we'll see what comes up next week. I do, oh, I should have done a taste test. I got this, this tea that I got for Christmas and I wanna do a taste test on that, but um, we'll do that probably Tuesday, you know, taste test Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, little boy's barking at something out there. Probably the next door dogs. It, that's only about the only time he barks is there's a dog that lives on either side and if they're out, he barks to say hi, he, you know, basically. My friend wants me to take him to the dog park, but after taking Kit and Kit running off, I'm a little paranoid. And I'm not sure how he would do with other dogs after he was mean to Bella. So I'm a little hesitant to take him to a dog park. I don't want to take him off leash and then have him try and attack dogs or something. I don't really trust him. <laughs> so I'm not, not real keen to take him to the dog park. She wants me to go with her, but you know, I let her talk me into it and look what happened with Kit. So now my hesitation, I'm gonna go with my gut and not do it. She won't be happy, but she's found a couple men friends that they're like friend friends, not boyfriend kind of friends that, you know, one of them, she lives nearby her and she met him going on a walk and they found out they have mutual interests because she's super liberal and, you know, likes to talk about all this stuff that has no interest to me because I'm super conservative, <laughs> even though we're friends, we've been friends 50 years. But this guy was so sweet when she had COVID, every day he'd bring her over like maybe some soup or some muffins or some books to read stuff like that so that was really sweet so she wants to start doing stuff with him like going to the senior center with him or whatever and she met another guy we call him elevator man because she met him in an elevator and he had a, a sweatshirt on from the college she went to so they got to talking and he's like her too very liberal and um agnostic and all that kind of stuff that isn't me so she's found a couple couple like-minded guys to hang out with which you know but she wants me to get involved in it too and some of the stuff that they're gonna want to do I'm not interested in of course but um, you know there's some stuff like going to the gym or going to the senior center that you know you're not gonna talk politics or anything so I'd be fine with that Alrighty, enough of that. Um, I didn't put any makeup on. I look terrible. I bought some, I don't have to try it for you. I bought some new, I got it for Christmas actually. Some new um, concealer. We'll do a little test on that and let you know how it, how it goes. That's another video we can do. <laughs> Always looking for something for content. Don't want, don't want you to get bored. Um, Alright, love y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.